Hey guys, it's Becca Wu here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I get these flat waves messy hair look. Um, it's super in. It's really, really easy to do. So uh, let's jump into the video. Today I'm going to show you a very easy way to style a bob haircut. It's going to be using the flat iron. It's going to be like very lived in flat waves kind of look. I've definitely been doing it differently than previously and I like this a lot more. This is definitely more of how I wanted my hair to look when I first cut it short but I just used a curling iron instead and it wasn't how I wanted it to look so <laughs> my hair is pink now. Um, I get very bored with the way that I look and I change my hair very frequently and impulsively. So we just sectioned out the bottom and the flat iron that I have is this one from Kristen S and I just got it from Target. I really really like it. I don't go any hotter than 400. Even 400 is pretty harsh on your hair so I don't ever go higher than that. For the bottom section I kind of just straighten it because I want this part to lay flatter to my head and this hair tends to be curlier on my head not curly but more wavy and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna have like a bunch of waves in our hair so that looks pretty good to me then for the next section I kind of go like above the ears Probably about an inch above the ears. So then I take this section and I hold it vertically and I do like a bend and then I pull down which that one was very curly because this hair is really short here. So if it's too curly I just go over it like this. Show you better here so you can go over it a few times if you want just don't go overboard and then you're gonna bend it and pull down that gives you a nice flat wave kind of looking thing and you just repeat all over the head Again, horizontal, that gives a nice wave. I just feel like this is so easy to. Just love the way that it looks. Like it doesn't have to be perfect to still like look good. Alright, moving on to the next section. So then I take pretty much inch to inch sections going up. They don't have to be super small because we're going uh, vertically around the head as opposed to if you're flattening, you probably want to take very thin horizontal sections, you know? I've been trying to not apply as much heat and like go over a bunch of times the pieces around my face because um, I broke a lot of hair off the last time I bleached my hair so try not to go over those pieces too much. And if you get it too curly, you just go over the flat iron. I feel like as soon as you get a hang of the motion, this becomes really easy. And 
and you can do it really quickly. And that quick, we're halfway done already. I can do this in like 15 minutes, which is awesome. Because curling, I mean, I could do curling pretty quickly too. But I think that that takes a little bit longer. And I'm not like yanking, like pushing so hard on the flat iron. Like I kind of cringe when I see people going, Ooh, like squeezing it so hard, like tugging at the hair. I think that damages the hair so much. Um, I just kind of clamp it and then I do the thing. You know, it, it there's heat on it, so it's going to be doing something no matter what. I would just rather have less damage on my hair because the flat iron is ultimately giving you the most damage of any um, hot tool because there's two hot plates and you're squeezing all the hair between it. You know, I haven't used a flat iron this much in little years, like probably since I was in high school because I just don't like how how damaging it is on the hair but I really like this hairstyle probably asking like what did I do with my hair I've been like using a curling iron on my hair for so long and, like a wand I just felt like that was so much less damaging on my hair and um, I liked the way that it looked, especially on my longer hair. And I could do it once and then have it for like three days. Like I wouldn't have to really touch it up. So I think I'm going to grow my hair back out. I don't know. I can never make up my mind. Just like I ended up with bangs for like two weeks. I don't even know if it was two weeks. It might have only been like a week. <laughs> no, I think it was two weeks. Who knows? I just love how changing up your hair can change up your look. Plus makeup too. I mean, that's why I love makeup so much. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you ASAP. But yeah, it's pretty simple once you get like the motion of it. But it's a little bit more difficult since I've been trying to grow these bangs out. So they just don't want to cooperate with me at all. Takes a little bit of patience. I desperately need a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much uh, that part. I don't typically put a lot of product in my hair, but I always like to kind of flip my head over, shake things out. Also, I like the amount of body it gives the hair, and it gives more of like a messy look. Just the vibe totally with this hair. That's it. I mean, you could totally add some like little pomade for the ends if you wanted to, 
but I just like to leave it like this and my hair also holds really well. If yours does it, you can add a bit of hairspray. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go finish getting ready. I'm going to grab lunch with a girlfriend of mine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you on my next video. Bye!